Hi. I am going to show you how to use Populate in 3ds Max to generate secondary characters for your scene. In the Populate panel click on this icon to create a sitting character. This line icon shows us the position of the character where the character is going to appear, and the line shows the direction in which the character is going to face. Now click on the simulate button. Now we got our character generated. Along with the animations. If you want to change the character design, select the character mesh, and click this regenerate button. Now the character has been changed randomly. Now in case if you want to change the animation, just click this re-simulate button. You can click the re-simulation button again and again, until you get the desired animation. By default, Populate generate only low poly models. In case if you want to convert it to high poly for a little closer shots. You can do it by clicking this switch resolution button. Now you got a detailed mesh. And by clicking the switch simulation button again, you can go back to low poly mode. Now we try the free idle area creation option. As you can see, these line icons shows us the position and direction of the characters that are about to be generated. Single character will be created in the places where single icons are shown, and group of characters will be created here. Now click the simulation button. Now we get a group of people generated using the free idle area option. Duration of the animation can also be changed. Now I change the number of frames to 200 and click the simulation again. As you can see, the simulation is now happening up to 200 frames. You can delete the simulated characters by clicking the delete button after the simulate button. Now try and explore different options provided in the modifier. In order to export these characters into FBX, these animations are needed to be baked. Select all the characters and click Bake Selected button to bake the animations to keyframes. As you can see, Bones has been generated with the keyframes baked to it. Now you can export the characters to FBX and use it in Unity 3D. Unreal or any other softwares of your choice. Now we create a path flow, in order to create people with walk, run or jog animations. Then click on the simulate button to generate the characters.
Thank you for watching.